Hi folks, this is Kelly and I am going to show you today how to change your ordinarily word processed resume into a table formatted resume that has very consistent layout and design. To do that, I'm going to demonstrate using Davis Callings uh, resume, which is a student resume that was created last year. Davis has a um, content here is very good. Um, there are a few changes I would make. For example, uh, in his education section, um, I actually like the degree to be above the university, so I'm going to make that change really quickly. Um, other than that, I like the way that he has all his skills here, although I am noticing that he has skills as his heading and then he repeats it again and again. I'm going to get rid of those. Why be that redundant when that information is all there? Um, I like his uh, work experience, except again, I want to know, you know what he did before where he did it. So I'm going to move the title up. Uh, so I've got the job title there. Um, and then I want to um, see with the bottom. His awards and honors looks pretty good. It's got quite a bit of white space at the bottom. If you look at this as a whole, page. You can see that it, overall it looks pretty good. Um, however, when you look at it as a whole page, you can see that there are some uh, consistency issues in terms of where things are placed. Lubbock is here. Miami is here and here, so those aren't lined up exactly. Uh, the Januaries and the work experience aren't lined up, and um, we just need some more finesse, I would say, uh, in this resume. So back to the page width view so you can see what we're doing. And I want to um, start the process. Again, the first thing you want to do is go to the home. Uh, your menu at the top will look different than mine. Mine has been customized for the buttons that I use most frequently. Um, but every menu, um, starting menu, however you've customized it, will probably have the show hide button uh, available. It looks like a backwards P that the, where the center of the P has been filled in. If you click that, it shows you all the formatting. Um, one of the cool things you'll notice that Davis did is that he put his heading at the very top in a header, which gives him a little more space throughout his document. It's a good idea. And then we can look at, you know, we can see now some of the reasons why things aren't lined up. Space is here, many tabs. Only two tabs here, but these tabs go off, so we've got problems there. Um, we've also got, um, even though we have two tabs here, um, they're just not lining up, so he's got tab problems. There are ways to correct that using tabs, but the table is even quicker. So let me show you, using the education section, how we'll um, actually uh, insert our uh, content into a table. So our steps two are to start inserting a small table and then step three is to move the content from here into that table. First I need to decide how big the table needs to be. I look at my first item. I can see that I've got a degree, a date of receipt, the university, and the location of the university. Seems to me that I have two rows here and I need a co two columns, one for this bit of information and one for this second bit of information. So I'm going to insert, and here's my table. Drop it down and you get a two by two table. So that's two columns with two rows in each one. Once I have that, I simply grab content and drop it into the space. Don't worry if your format changes. That's going to be a step we're going to work on later. Just get that content into the table. There we have it. So that item is done. Now I want to insert another small table. Again, keep it consistent. Two by two. And you'll see that um, I've got the same size table, but they're not consistently placed. Now I can correct that just by grabbing this column and moving it over. And I could have moved the second one over or the first one, but I'm going to use the first one to get these lined up. And now I'm going to drag my second item content into the small table here.
oops, dragged it the wrong place, no problem, just put it down where I want it. And then I'm going to show you a second way. If you know that you have a table set up the way you want it, you can just copy it and then you can paste it. Oops, it's just pasted, did that wrong. You just need to paste it. Sorry, use the first paste. There we go. Then you can simply delete the content out of there. It leaves the same spacing. Having trouble grabbing here. Grab and drop. Grab and drop. Grab and drop. Get rid of my extra spaces. Grab and drop. And I have placed everything into um, very similar small tables. Now I'm going to delete. Make sure there's just, oops, too many. I want to put that back in by just using the, and here we go. Now, I want to make sure that all of these spaces are the same. That's an Arial 12, that's an Arial 12, Arial 12, Roman, Times New Roman 13, and here's what I'm looking at, Times New Roman 13. So this one's not the same. To make sure this one is formatted the same, I can either cut and paste or I can use the Format Painter, click it once, and it will copy once, and now I have Arial 12. So everything is spaced similarly between. Now I have created my tables, moved my content, now I want to work on my formatting. The way that I do this now is just to take off all the formatting. I make sure it's all Arial 12. It appears to be. I want to get rid of the bold on everything, the italics, so it's just plain text. I prefer to actually showcase the degrees and the coursework, so I'm going to bold this first item in each one of my tables. And then here, I liked the way he sort of had this side um, justified to the right. So I'm going to select these items, go up here to my Justification Quick Key, Justify to the right, so that my these columns on the left are justified to the left, the columns on the right are justified to the right. They look comparably and, and similarly formatted, so now I'm ready to remove the borders. Again, I have a border quick key over here on mine, but if you don't have that, that's okay. Just go to your table tools. Here they are. Click on design. You'll see a borders and tell it no border. It should eliminate the borders. And once you set it up once, you can repeat just by clicking the where it is currently set, and you have a beautifully formatted section. Back to home, turn off the show hide, and you can see what it looks like. Okay, so that's how you do this first section. Now, let me show you how I formatted the rest of the resume. I'm moving to the after version, and here is the after version. You can see that I formatted the header to give myself a little more space between email and the phone number. There is the education section I just did. I did the skill section slightly differently. I uh, bulleted the items in the first column and bolded them so that they stand out more. And then I changed my two column width so that the first column is narrower than the second. That's really easy to do. You just grab and move. So I could change it there. I'm going to make it, that's too narrow because communication, move it over. Now that's about right. And then this was an interesting one because what I actually did was I created a three col I'm sorry, three row, two column uh, table here. And then for the third column, I dragged the uh, duties. And then I merged these two so that it became one long row instead of two, I'm sorry, one long column instead of two columns, and it laid out quite nicely. And then I simply made uh, one column table here, 
with three rows. Now it does look like my resume has gone on to a second page. Not a problem because I know that the reason it's done that is because I've added all these tables. I want to show you this view as a single page really quickly just to show you how similar now my resume looks to some of the Korean samples we've looked at which are also laid out in tables. The difference is that in the US we tend to want to get rid of those tables so I'm going back to my page width view and I will simply now turn off the table borders so you can't see them Again, I'm going to do that very quickly with design. I'm going to go to no border. That should take it off. Then I'm going to go down to all my other ones. No border. Very quickly removes these. Changes the appearance to so the tables disappear. And now let me show you again with a single page view. You can see how nicely laid out that is now. Laid out in tables. And by the way, this is the way it looks with the show hide on. You can see that we've got very consistent formatting now. We don't have the same kind of inconsistent tabbing and spacing here because it's all laid out with tables and table alignment which is a, shows sophisticated technology skills. Now I'm going to show you one other thing that's very cool. I'm going to go back to view and I'm going to show these two documents side by side. Here is the before on the left and here is the after on the right. It's kind of hard to see um, the spacing when it's this small, but you can tell that they're uh, much better white space, much cleaner alignment on the after section, and um, it in all looks like a, a much better um, resume. So this is how you do this. Um, I'm going to drop these samples into the resources for you. If you have questions, take a look at these samples and see if you can create your own table formatted resume.